Hey everybody, I'm Lex from PDQ.com. I'm gonna take you through a really quick rundown of how you can actually set up your PDQ deploy in inventory to automatically take care of your third-party patch management, say like Chrome and 7-Zip and Firefox. So let's just run through and give you the basis of how this is done. So first of all, we do have a pre-built package library. And the great thing about this is we got 300 plus packages you can get. I'm gonna go grab Chrome, so we're gonna automate Chrome. So up here I filter for Chrome, there it is. All you've gotta to do to get these is select them uh, to download them and then download as selected. Now, while that's downloading, you'll notice this box here with the arrow on it, that's called an auto download package. And what that does is I've got my options set under options preferences under auto download. When a new version of say Chrome in this case comes out, it's gonna wait seven days and then replace it with the new version. So I don't have to keep going and getting Chrome. At this point, I've downloaded Chrome. It's gonna be taken care of for me in regards to downloads. So there it is, there's Chrome. Now, to deploy and automate deployment, there needs to be some intelligence behind this and that's where inventory comes into play. You could shotgun this out to your network, but then you might be hitting machines that already have the current update. You'll be hitting servers that you probably don't wanna have it on. And you, you know, and in regards to, you know, maybe not necessarily Chrome, but any of the other packages you're pushing out, you probably want to selectively get those out without just bombarding your servers and other things like that. To do that, we're going to go over to inventory. Now, in inventory, here's the list of my machines. We've got other videos on how to get those in to inventory, which is really quite simple. But this collection library right here, when I open that up, all of these below are maintained by us at PDQ. So when a new version, well, let's just go look at internet browsers. Check it out. I have got 26 machines that have Chrome on it. When a new version of Chrome out comes out, obviously see right there, 88.04324182. So 88.182 as of this video is the current version of Chrome. When the version 183 comes out, it's going to replace that. So right now I've got Nine machines that have the latest version of Chrome. I've got 21 machines that don't have it. And there's a reason I didn't want it on servers on these machines. And I've got 17 machines that need to be updated. So I know using inventory what specifically I need to send that patch, uh, the end nodes I need to send that patch to. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, back to deploy, you're gonna highlight Chrome, okay? Now, I've got videos on how to deploy onesies, twosies for you, but this is how you automate this. You go up to deploy, and instead of deploy, once you hit new schedule, okay? At this point, you're gonna come up and name this. This is gonna be our Chrome schedule. Here's the triggers. We are gonna wanna set this. Let's say we want it to go once a week on, I don't know, Fridays. And uh, a good rule of thumb, I like to push stuff after hours. So let's say 8 p.m., okay? <clears throat> so 8 p.m. on Fridays, it's gonna go. Now, targets. Again, if you type in machines, and my machines are named after uh, Looney Tunes, if I type them in here, I'm gonna have to maintain them. That's not what you wanna do, right? You wanna let inventory maintain them. And we're gonna go grab that Chrome old collection we were looking at. Because again, we don't need to update the machines that already have it. And if they don't have it, there's probably a reason. So Chrome old, so you can see the difference. Okay, inventory is gonna maintain that one. That one I would have to maintain. So let's get rid of that. Let inventory take care of that for us, okay? Package, right there. Options, uh, you know, I've got videos on this, but ultimately, right here, you just need to stop deployments once they succeed, because we don't need to keep tapping machines. Now, here's what's gonna happen on Friday. We're gonna give that an okay. Here's what's gonna happen on Friday at eight o'clock, okay? Friday at eight, deploy is gonna check in with inventory, okay? Here we go, 17 machines in Chrome old need to be updated. It is gonna go and do the update on all these machines, okay? Those machines will then get moved from Chrome old to Chrome latest, okay? Your work's gonna be done, okay? Now, so you come in on Monday, all the machines are updated, thumbs are up, sitting back drinking coffee now because, you know, you're done with your work, right? Or maybe you're doing bigger brain projects at this point and the version Chrome 183 comes out. So about noon, you look down and all of a sudden, all 26 of these machines have gone from Chrome latest to Chrome old. What do you have to do at this point? 
Nothing. And here's why. Okay. Chrome's that auto download package. So it's going to wait a week, right? And replace 182 with 183. The Friday following that at 8 p.m., it's going to go update all 26 to the new version. So at this point, we have taken care of Chrome for the foreseeable future. I don't have to worry about it anymore. Deploying inventory are going to do it for me. And again, the more work I can push off onto somebody else or something else in this case, the more time I have to do, you know, bigger, better things like, you know, watching videos on YouTube. Basically, guys, that's how you do it. It's going to take a bunch of work off your plate. And anyway, that's the best thing, right? Anytime I can take work off your plate, I'm helping you out. So uh, give it a try if you haven't already. That's how you do it, guys. I'm Lex from PDQ.com. Thanks for watching.